Good afternoon everybody. This is Margie Norte with uh, Designs by Marge. Today we're actually going to make a Christmas card and um, that Christmas card is going to come from uh, Snowflake Sentiments which is a new uh, Christmas stamp bundle that uh, Stampin' Up! provides or sells and it also has in the bundle it uh, comes with these dies. So we're actually going to be using this long piece and we're going to be using this for uh, the die part of it. And for the stamps, we're going to be using the season's greetings for the sentiment. And uh, the card that we're making is this one. Now I got the idea for this card from Carol Maynard. But uh, I, of course, made some changes to it and updates and that sort of thing. So um, let's get started. Um, the first thing that you're going to need to do is a piece of thick Whisper White uh, cardstock. And of course, it's cut in the eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then you're going to set that aside. The next thing that you're going to do is. Uh, um, Let's go ahead and do our sentiment. And uh, so hold on and let me change the phone and uh, so that you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. These camera stands are just awesome. So the uh, sentiment is gonna go on a piece of Whisper White that's three and a half by three. And I actually did the stitch shapes oval, the largest one. Uh, for that, you're going to use your Versamark because we're going to emboss this in silver. So you're going to use your Versamark with your uh, Seasons Greetings. After you use your uh, Buddy um, pad to uh, make sure that all the stuff's off of it all the unwanted things. And then we're going to stamp it real good in the Versamark. And you don't want to rock and roll this because you don't want the lines in there. Hopefully my head's not in the way. I just hold it there for a second so that it takes real good. And pull that off. Look, I put it down there upside down, which is okay since it's right there. Okay. So, and then what we're going to do is use the uh, silver uh, embossing powder. Now... I will give you all of the supplies and the measurements and that sort of thing on um, my blog, and uh, which I will give you a link to at the end of the video. But, uh, you know, Stampin' Up! sells all this stuff. And uh, their products are, you know, they're the best that I've seen. Their products are such good quality products. See, I made the mess with it. So, I told you not to rock and roll, and obviously I did. Okay, so there it is. We're going to set this aside and put the lid on it so that I don't kill it. And unfortunately, you're going to hear the heat tool. So, um, hold on. You want to make sure you get your heat tool hot before you put it on your um, sentiment. And you'll see oops, how pretty that's going to be. And you see it's changing already. Makes it nice and shiny. Just gorgeous. I love embossing. Okay, so that's done. See, it doesn't take very long. And then we're going to set this aside for a little bit. Okay, so the next part of your card is to um, have the, uh, this is the Year of Cheer uh, DSP, and it is cut at five and a quarter by four, and you're going to layer that on a piece of basic black, which is cut at uh, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And like I said, these will all be on the um, website, on the blog, sorry. 
So I use a product called Fast Fuse. I love it. It's a little bit stronger and so it stays, it keeps your card in place a little better. Um, but whenever you're pulling it, you need to like just flick it, right? And then the next time you pull it along your card, flick it in the other direction. And you'll keep your um, glue roller in the proper place when you're doing that. So I've never really had a problem with fast bees at all. But if you don't, follow the rules for it. You'll find yourself trying to um, fix your fast fuse and you'll ruin your whole roll. So we want to line that up real good. See how pretty that looks. That's just gorgeous. So then we want to bring our little card in and we can go ahead and put it on our card. Good idea to stick your fingers in the glue. And then you want to line it up. So you've just got a little bit showing on all four sides. Okay, so isn't that, isn't that pretty? Now that our little sentiment has been setting for just a little while, we can actually go ahead and put it on the silver part. So that part will be done. So I put just a little bit more stuff on this one and center that. Okay, isn't that pretty? Okay, so we'll set that aside. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this long piece about oh, one third up from the bottom, I guess. Trying to make sure that it's straight. That looks straight, okay. And then we'll take our little snips and just cut the edges on both sides. Oops, I better turn it around. Okay, and there we go with that. Now, we want about five dimensionals. Of course, I forgot to take the dimensionals out. So I actually get some of these uh, cases from Stampin' Up to uh, put my supplies in so that I can find them quickly. So when you're putting these on, if you'll just make an indentation in the um, dimensional, you'll get the paper backing off a little easier. And I know a lot of times we struggle with that, so let's see how easy that comes off. Not a big, big problem. Okay. All right, so then we're gonna put that uh, right center of the um, silver bar, but so that it um, has some showing on each side, okay? Then we come to these cute little things. Now, when you're working with these, you use your piercing tool, or I do anyway. You, you might have something that works a little better. But you need to separate the paper from, you know, the uh, paper backing from the, um, there it is, yay, from the um, adhesive sheet. So we do that. And I want to put this one, I like this one, like, you get it around that dimensional. So I kind of like it right there. And then you get your other one. So see, it's this is so much fun in the assembly if you get your stuff together ahead of time, let me tell you. I'm 
and then you pull that off and you just add it up here just like that okay so um, then we want to do the inside of the card oh no we want to put our little these are the um, the metal um, pearls the metal rim pearls and I, that I think are just gorgeous and what I did with them is I used one I used there are three sizes and I used one of each size so um, you do what you want to do but uh, I kind of like the big one down here So you can see and you know whenever you're doing these the usual practice is to do um, do a little triangle so that it's uh, picked up by the eye a little easier so and you want to just push down on it whenever you um, get the paper off this is the hardest part for me believe it or not is trying to get the backing off of these things See what I mean? Takes up the most time on the video. And so that means I'm going to put this one over here. Okay, so now that we have that done, we can set this aside. I'm going to flip it over. And on the inside, what I um, want to do is uh, get that little bitty piece We need to put a sentiment in here. So you can say whatever you want to say. I kind of like this one. Which says, wishing you a season of joy, a season of cheer, but most of all, a wonderful year. And I, I really like that. I think it uh, sends the right message. So I want to do that in the Memento Black. Um, and yes, Stampin' Up! sells this too. I'm going to make sure that you've got it. Um, and you know the black is the one that's made out of um, um, material. And so you have to like do this and then do that. So that you can make sure that you're covering your stamp well enough. I like mine like right in the center. I like to have room for a uh, little burst or something, and uh, then, you know, and then here are the little snowflakes, and I want those memento black as well, so I'm squirreling it, and, and I want to line those up right at the bottom. So I hope that you can see what I'm doing is going right down to the edge of the paper. And stamping those right next to each other. And there we go. And that's our card. Now the other thing that I do is on the envelope, I stamp the um, top of the envelope. A whisper white envelope and this is a medium envelope that fits the, perfectly fits the card and I just stamp my little uh, snowflakes right along the lip of the um, envelope okay so that completes our card so once again you can see and it's done. Okay, so moving this back to the position it was in before, so you guys can see my face. <laughs> I just want to let you know that 
This video is about five minutes longer than I intended it to be, so I'm working to try to make them 10 minutes or less. And sometimes with the cards, it's a little difficult to do that, especially with those of us that don't have as much experience doing it. But I do intend to release one of these at least once a week. And uh, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this card and we're gonna make matching gift tags for your gifts so that everything is matching, okay? So I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Please watch for me. I will also let you know when that video is going to be ahead of time so that you can prepare for it. I hope everybody has a lovely day, and uh, we will talk soon. Bye-bye.